Hey everyone, Mike Palumpo here from my secret bunker in an undisclosed location with a very important message. We're beginning the new year together with a very powerful spiritual discipline called fasting. So I'm hiding from all the potlucks, parties, and not to mention all the cookies you guys gave me for Christmas. Now before you start fasting, you'll require a little bit of training or you'll do it wrong. Then you'll mess yourself up and probably mess up the people around you. So here's a fast teaching on fasting, part one. I wanna share with you the heart behind fasting. Ready? Thomas Burton, Catholic writer, mystic, and monk, once said, ask me not where I live or what I like to eat. Instead, ask me what I am living for and what I think is keeping me from living fully for that. It doesn't always feel like it or seem like it, but the greatest desire in every human heart is for more and more of God. Ultimately, the deepest longing of our lives is not for material things, a new car, shopping for more clothes, or the latest iPhone. It's not for more entertainment on Netflix, Xbox One, movies, or sports. It's not for more food, sex, or sleep. Ruth Haley Barton in her book, Sacred Rhythms, put it this way. Your desire for more of God than you have right now, your longing for love, your need for deeper levels of spiritual transformation than you've experienced so far, is the truest thing about you. The deepest longing and greatest desire of our lives is for more of God. But as we know, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is what? Right, or should we say strong? In other words, we all know we want more of God, to hear God's voice, to focus completely on God, but the cravings of our flesh are so strong. What can we do about this? God teaches us a wonderful and powerful spiritual discipline called fasting. God already loves you more than you'll ever know. God has already blessed you with every spiritual blessing. God has already given you full access beyond the veil to His holy presence. All these things are yours by grace through faith. So biblical fasting is not a way to earn more of God's love, favor, blessing, or presence. So what is fasting for? The purpose of fasting is to clear a pathway for an encounter with the seeking Father. You see, John 4, 23 says, Worship the Father in spirit and truth, for the Father is seeking such worshipers as these. So if the Father is seeking after us, but we can't hear His voice or experience His presence, then what's the problem? Exactly. We are the problem. We are not focused. We are not tuned in. We are not listening. Instead, we are distracted. We are unfocused. We are preoccupied. Have you ever tried talking with someone who isn't listening? You can be the perfect communicator, but you're not getting through. That's how God feels about us. He's speaking and communicating all the time, but we're like, squirrel. So if you know God's perfect will for your life this year, then fasting is not for you. If you are walking in perfect intimacy with the Spirit, fasting is not for you. On the other hand, if you know that the deepest longing and greatest desire of your heart is for God, but you feel somewhat distracted, preoccupied, and unfocused, then join us for a season of fasting and pray. In these fast teachings on fasting, we are preparing you for a season of fasting that could change you, the church, and the world forever. But here in part one, all I want you to do is receive the heart behind fasting. Pray about this. God, I know that the deepest longing and greatest desire of my heart should be for you, are you calling me into a season of fasting with the rest of the church so I can see you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly? Stay tuned for more fast teaching on fasting next week. Mike Palumpo in his secret undisclosed bunker, signing off for now.